Okay, what up guys, Nakamoto Crypto here. Today we're gonna talk about Electronium smart contracts, test net progress as it is turning out to be successful and also a phenomenon that has been going on. We've touched up upon it when we made this video. Go back and check it out. This time we're gonna talk about a man who had a dream and a prophecy about Tesla and it also came through and went right under the radar stay tuned like and subscribe let's get right on to it so etn says hey we are pleased to announce that the blockchain validators operating on the smart contract testnet are now operating as intended this includes you know uh, five second block confirmation so this is the list of everything blockchain validators are now operational five second block confirmations this is super quick every five seconds a block is confirmed with their smart contract testnet which is amazing token transfers smart contracts you know nfts and then also they're going to be working finally on the talk uh, mainnet token bridge explorer updates for uh, ibfts and then you know finalize the testnet faucet so that people can play around with it and interact with it so they went ahead further and said we are, we are also in discussion with a uh, new fee economics which we also hope to share with you guys soon lastly we will be introducing a testnet faucet shortly that will enable external parties to test the network so watch out it's coming etn is finally here this guy took a screenshot of the interactions and then this is the five second block confirmations those those smart contracts everything is working as smoothly and intended etn i'm telling you guys do not sleep on electronium because in the future they could be working on something big you know their founder went as far as you know speaking inside the uk parliament to people and also they are working with island nations introducing etn to these uh, small island nations to adopt it if you get countries to adopt a cryptocurrency that would be just crazy man etn just keep an eye on it it is a sleeping giant and now we gotta talk about the dream that this man had just go ahead and watch this this is what he said about tesla keep your eyes on elon musk he is going to sell off a very large portion of Bitcoin at an unexpected and unbelievable rate and at a time that doesn't really make sense for him to sell it as though it will look like as though he's taking a loss or taking a hit. And then he will take that and invest that into Doge and other different coins as were currencies as well. So pay attention to that. And this will have a ripple effect on the market. Bitcoin will drop drastically, but other things will grow significantly because they will suddenly have large investors so to speak whales uh that will really increase everything now you heard the man and this dream i'll leave that link in the description box below it happened a couple of months ago the dream and a prophecy that came true pretty much as he was saying it about literally a month or so later just towards the end of last month around the end of july tesla just sold 75 percent of their bitcoin to maximize their cash positions but they prefer to hold old dogecoin in the dream that man said it's gonna look like people won't understand why would tesla sell a large portion of their btc and secretly elon was investing it into dogecoin and all some of these other altcoins and investments and then you know you would see the moonshot that probably explains why you know you can see dogecoin is still the 11th largest cryptocurrency by market cap it is going up a little if elon the richest man on the planet is accumulating doge then your best bet is to at least consider owning some dogecoin because there's only about 132 billion dogecoin right now as a circulating supply and you know we all know dogecoin inflates so there is no cap maximum supply as long as people are mining doge it's gonna keep on going up and up and up in uh token supply so that's not an issue here because if you see something like hex hex like has about 600 billion tokens out there or something like that so if hex with over 600 billion tokens managed to go as high as 50 cent almost touching a dollar doge can definitely hit, hit at least a dollar or so so just do not sleep on dogecoin because once again that dream specified everything and 
that's exactly what elon did like two three months down the line so elon said that the only reason he sold his btc holdings you know at least 75 percent of it was to maximize the company's cash position uh, because of market uncertainties companies do that they sit on a ton load of cash when things are going down when things are looking bearish this is not to sell and run away but it is to sell and increase their position into a stronger asset for now and then when the weaker asset bottoms you're gonna see them scoop it at lower levels if bitcoin goes down to 14k 10k like people were saying if it does then this is a lifetime opportunity for so many people to be getting it at those prices so the other thing here is blackrock now blackrock has been under the news you know for a while now you either hate them or you like them so this time they're doing a, a spot bitcoin launch they launching their private trust after their coinbase partnership if people are saying coinbase is getting bailed out by blackrock i think it is a good thing because blackrock have 10 trillion dollars of assets under their management 10 trillion not 10 million not 10 billion but 10 trillion dollars that they are managing and this is absolutely bullish and amazing they are literally one of the largest institutions on the planet so if they are partnering with coinbase bailing them out hey you've seen the coinbase stock go up they also said this about bitcoin they said bitcoin is the oldest and largest and most liquid crypto asset and it is currently primary subject of interest from our clients within the crypto asset space excluding stable coins bitcoin maintains close to 50 percent of the industry's entire market capitalization bitcoin is a giant it is a big dog in the yard every institution and country that comes and adopts crypto they're gonna start with the big dog that's bitcoin so blackrock is encouraged that um organizations such as rmi and energy web are developing programs to bring greater transparencies to sustainable energy usage in bitcoin mining and will follow progress around those initiatives so they're just saying that hey we are coming into crypto with 10 trillion dollars we are going in with the most stable coin we're going to start from there and maybe one day they're going to invest into ethereum and also cardano and all these other layer ones that are here to stay long term so don't sleep on blackrock some people are saying well blackrock is not a good uh, thing like you know people are um, accusing them of being behind the lunars and all of these other companies collapsing my take on that is that look there are institutions then they have 10 trillion dollars under their belt if they buy bit these some of these bitcoins and some of these altcoins you are gonna see significantly higher returns we may see a hundred thousand dollar btc before even the halving of 2024 if they start going in heavy in these cryptos so uh luna people are suspecting blackrock they were behind the luna collapse taking uh, taking them down using a billion dollars which also became like a ripple effect and then celsius got brought down obviously from to over leveraging themselves uh, BlockFi, uh, Voyager all of those companies in crypto were direct competition to BlackRock because they were doing this asset under management stuff but only in crypto the problem with them is they over leveraged themselves they killed themselves too early they got in over their head too early uh, crypto was not ready to become the banking system of the world pretty much they tried to rush to create these early companies to do that and they wind up getting liquidated and getting killed off really really fast if a bigger company comes with more money you cannot compete with them and this is this happens each and every time they eliminate competition and they establish themselves i told you when i made this video i was just chilling in the car driving around and i was telling you guys that when have you ever seen the banks fail at everything because they are backed by the federal reserve banks and those guys have more money than you any little company that you have in crypto or project banks have more money than you if celsius tried to compete with these guys like blackrock and all of these there was no chance for them literally no chance look how they brought them down they brought down these table coins quick and wind up establishing themselves in crypto anyway i think that's what was taking place it was just a war between the banks and some of the companies in the crypto space and companies in the crypto space unfortunately lost and a lot of people lost their funds because you know everybody knows how the banks operate if 
that rumor is true allegedly then hey the banks always win so your best bet would be on the banks so now you're gonna see coinbase start going you're gonna see blackrock um starting to slowly nitpick on some of these altcoins picking up on cardano or ethereum and they're gonna diversify slowly and see how where that takes them so, and that would you know mean that these light coins and the coins that you think are gone and forgotten because they are the oldest they're gonna be pumping soon and then when they do hey crypto market explosion altcoin season is gonna come back around with that being said like up the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out